Hello guys, so this is um, a first for me because I'm not the best at skateboarding yet. I uh, started in like, I don't know, October, September, I can't remember. But um, so I just wanted to teach you how to ollie today. So I've already wasted like 25 seconds of your time. So let's just get into this. Okay. So you may not know this, but a skateboard has a tail and a nose. They're different. Even if you have a board like mine, there's probably gonna be a little bit of a difference. I have this mustache sticker here. Don't worry, I'm gonna paint it, stop cringing. Um, so that's what helps me. The um, back of it should help you, if you're on the wheel back, it should help you get your pop better because it's more surface area for your foot to pop down. Anyways, positioning. So, you're going to have your ward like this, of course. You're going to put pressure on your toes, which will create tension to help you push up better. And basically, you're just going to practice going down like that. A lot of tutorials say that you should put your foot really far back. But that's actually going to make it hard. <laughs> you to learn. And it's encouraging a rocket alley, which is what we do not want. So I'd say put it like right beside the bolts, like that, or like a little far away from the bolts, like here. And then your back foot should be on the tail, bent up. When you do that, you're gonna tip your foot up like this. It doesn't have to be like super drastic. You don't have to like move it that far, but you should definitely try to get this at least bent over. And a little bit of slide would be good. This is really important because if you don't have this, it'll end up looking something like this. So, hello, it's future editor me. I'm showing you um, why you need to use your knees. Um, you should have your knees coming up to like your chest maybe like your the bottom of your rib cage basically that's where my knees come up because i'm not flexible but anyways it should be like this without knees with knees and then the extra tension and stuff jump that You want it to be one fluid motion going down into that tail press down, which should be as hard as you can, and jumping up. So it should be, won't work. Okay, now with all that in mind, we're actually gonna teach you the Ollie. Okay. First thing, really whoops is you're gonna want to actually feel comfortable on your board especially crouching down because that'll be important as soon as you get a nice ollie you should be practicing always in motion which is basically what i'm practicing lately as well as a shove it which i cannot get if anybody in the comments knows how to do this please give me help Push your knee at foot placement and tension. Then you're gonna slam this down as hard as you can and jump. And once you do that, as soon as you feel this happen with this foot, you're gonna do that. And it's gonna take some time to get used to the timing. Also, make sure before you land, you're taking this foot out of that position or you're gonna have an awful world angle. You might even sprain it. Anyways. Here's an example of how it should be when you start. It doesn't have to be super high. As you go, you can increase the height. So, 
a little higher, and so on and so forth. Once you get a nice holly, I want you to go out there any way you can. Garage, parking garage, outside, wherever you live, and do that. And you gotta get it in motion, you got it. Or you're gonna get used. The way I like to view it is the ollie in motion is a whole different trick. You gotta keep the board in front of you, there's still a lot going on. So you gotta make sure to have this down, but you also gotta go for that leap. Anyways, thanks for watching. I know I'm gonna spend an hour on editing this because I'm awful at videos, but um, anyways. Thank mm -hmm. you.